All right, guys. Gonna gonna show you a little holster and company I, I stumbled upon in the last couple months, and I'm really happy with their products. Great customer service, great company. They really know what they're talking about. I happened to pick my first holster up um, from a fellow YouTuber at a gun show uh, by the name of Shotgun Shani. Pretty sure you guys are sub to her and or know her in some type of way on YouTube. A uh, very, very sweet girl. She really explained to me, just because I knew her on YouTube, I was really just asking her, firing her, asking her a bunch of questions on this holster because, to be honest, I was real skeptical about it. The, the no clip uh, design, it just, I just couldn't get it. Uh, I didn't think it would, it would hold stable enough inside the waistband. Um, when I was, maybe when you were running or doing something when it could still carry, um, that this holster was going to bobble around inside the waistband or it was, uh, in worst case, probably just fall, fall out of the waistband or down the pants or something like that. But uh, she really convinced me on it, to, and, and I've been a, a big supporter of the products ever since. Now, if I'm, I don't have the package to this uh, inside the waistband, but I believe this is a size 10. Uh, I could be mistaken, though, but um, this holster, just one holster, fits three of my guns, three of my handguns, uh, perfectly fine. Um, which is great because you don't have to buy two, three holsters for, for each one of those pistols. Now, just for example here, there's a Springfield XD subcompact in the 40. We're going to do a quick safety check on it. All right. Shit. I got those, uh, some bad hands there. Couldn't get it. But she has unloaded the safety chamber indicator, safety indicators down. Pin is out. Um, uh, there's there's how that one fits. Of course, the mag will be here, so we would get all three fingers on on that. It holds it securely. Um, also, here goes another one of my pistols that I do conceal from time to time. This is a Sig 2022, Sig Sauer 2022. This is also in 40. We can also do a safety check on this. For some reason, I was able to do this one, no problem. Slides a little tough on the XD for some reason. But um, maybe I need to shoot a couple rounds in. But this one's also clear. I'll decock it. Uh, this is the holster. This is the gun that I broke the holster in with. I was doing a lot of concealed carry with this when I first got it. I uh, still do concealed carry it from time to time, depending on the attire. But these holsters will form and break in to the gun that's in it the most. Um, this one just happens to fit the SIG like a glove. Um, also, my uh, I don't have it right here on the table with me, but my Glock 19 also fits in this holster very well. So three guns for the price of one holster. Their holsters, um, I believe, ballpark in it, go over for around $25, um, which is a lot cheaper than... The crossbreed style holsters, uh, Nate Square tactical holsters that I happen to be a big fan of as well. Um, just, uh, very affordable holsters. Um, also, um, here goes some magazines, spare magazine holsters from uh, Remora, carrying a Glock mag. These are fairly brand new. Actually, these are brand new, so uh, these mags kind of tough getting in and out but that's because it needs to be broken in but this is this is the package they come in their holsters as well concealment holsters no clip inside the waistband they have a lifetime no questions asked warranty so made in the USA as well so you really can't beat that lifetime warranty you don't have to explain why why you ripped a holster or I don't know I don't know these are really durable holsters so to rip it you really gotta take something something heavy to it um, and they're made in the USA so you're supporting a USA company these guys happen to be down in Florida where I where I happen to stay I think they're in northern Florida though northern part of Florida but excellent now what, what can you do with these mag holsters I happen to win these uh, 
or more hosters was having like a Facebook. I happened to follow them on Facebook for November. They were having like a trivia question, and if you were the first couple of people to answer the trivia question correctly, they would send you either a holster or a um, some mag holders. Now, what what you can do with this is you can also put your flashlights in there. If you have some type of mag light or Phoenix or something like that, four sevens. You can put it in there, and you can also carry it along the waistband. You can also, if you're gonna, if you're gonna carry a flashlight, you could probably just stick this right in the pocket, and it's gonna stay still. It's not gonna jump around in the pocket. Also, what you can do is, now this knife is not the best for this. Maybe a little bit of a bigger knife, but this will work. Um, you can also store your knives in there if you wanna do it inside the waistband knife carry instead of using a pocket clip, free up some pocket space, you can also throw that in there. But overall thoughts on the Remora holster, it is now my favorite holster. I know you guys are going to be like, what? You know, yeah, uh, I really dig. My uh, my favorite holster was the Nate Square Tactical Holsters. Um, um, the only, uh, and I do love my Nate Squares, I have them. Uh, I'm still going to try to use them as much as possible, but I do find myself always grabbing the Remora products over there or over any inside the waistband, nylon holsters or uh, white hat holsters, crossfeed style holsters. I always end up grabbing these because it's real easy. It's real easy to put in, fasten, the, the, uh, fasten your belt, and you're good to go. No clips to deal with, no making sure your holster's canted in the right direction. You can also cant with this in the side of the waistband if you wanted to wear it like that you know inside the waistband if you wanted to wear it maybe like this you can you can do it any way you want uh, the only problem that I can see with this that may turn off people but it's very minor so I don't think it's that big of a deal but yeah actually this is a size 10 now that I see it I don't know if you guys can see it but it does say size 10 in there so I'm glad I was right but um Maybe when you're going to use the restroom or something like that. Uh, maybe you're in Walmart, you want to go ahead and use the restroom, whatever. Um, your holster, you're going to do a lot of adjusting of this holster because when you loosen that belt and uh, all that stuff, this holster, you're going to have to really control this, maybe sit it down on the toilet seat or something like that because then it's going to bobble around, it's going to move because obviously you want to fasten your your pants so that is the only thing some people might say you know what that's an advantage of having a clip holster that it's gonna stay in place when you do un unfasten the belt when you when you go to the restroom or something of that nature it's gonna stay there all you have to do is just pull back up the pants and uh, fasten up the, the belt and you're good this you might have to take it out or well, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take it out probably rest it on a on a counter or a toilet seat or whatever it has whatever you can find there and then when you're done put it back in that's the only thing I can see that's maybe a downside about this it's a very minor issue I have no problems with it plus you're in a stall you're by yourself no one's gonna see you of course uh, so people knowing you have a firearm shouldn't be an issue but there you guys have it. I encourage you to guys, if you guys are in the market for a new holster or first time gun owners, um, looking for a holster that's gonna be comfortable, something that you're gonna carry all the time with you. Um, you're not gonna leave your gun in the house because of, you know, it's too uncomfortable, the gun's too heavy. But you can carry a full size uh, 45 in one of these holsters and it'll be comfortable. Might be a little bit heavy, depending on what you like. But um, they're great, and I would recommend them to everybody. Website will be down below. I'll have the link to their website down there. Guys, I'm not making any money off of this uh, at all. Um, I just really think they're a good product. And you ask them questions, you send them an email, they respond quick. Within 24 hours, I've, I've gotten email answers and responses back from them. Um, if you happen to live in the South Florida area or in the Florida area, area in general, you probably want to go over to Shotgun Shanny's channel. I have a link to her channel down below. 
she is an authorized, uh, I believe she's an authorized seller or dealer or she's just uh, really cool. Uh, she really knows her stuff. You can go over there and probably ask her a question on these holsters. Send her a PM and she'll get back to you. Send the guys over at Remora Holsters a PM. They'll get back to you. And uh, I have the links down below to those, those channels and that website. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.